Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn how to create, update, delete, list and uh, interact in various ways with Apache Kafka topics. But before that, if you have not subscribed this channel, now would be a great time to do so and let's quickly get started. Now the very first thing that we would want to do here is start our Zookeeper server and after that we would like to start our Apache Kafka server. Now these two things were covered in the video on installation. So if you have not watched that video already, you can watch it by clicking the i button above or by finding the link in the description below. For now, let me simply start Zookeeper by saying zookeeper server star.sh and specifying the config file, which is located at config forward slash zookeeper dot properties. Uh, so notice that I am within the Kafka installation folder so I can provide the relative path. In your case, you might be providing an absolute path instead of the relative path here. I hit enter and uh, well, I can see that uh, Zookeeper server has been started. Let's do the same thing for Apache Kafka. I would say Kafka server start and again specify the server.properties file. I go ahead and hit enter and I will see um, a large log over here. And uh, okay, so awaiting socket connections on port 9092 and it seems that we don't have any errors. So Apache Kafka seems to have started correctly. Let me now open up another terminal and this is where we would actually start working with Kafka topics. Now to go about working with Kafka topics, we would be using the script Kafka topics.sh. I would simply say Kafka topics.sh and I would hit enter. Um, I see a large amount of text on my screen. So this is simply describing what the Kafka topics.sh script uh, or command or file does. And here it says that it creates, deletes, describes or changes a topic. And uh, here we have the various options that work with this script. Let's have a look at some of these options. Uh, the most important one uh, here would be the bootstrap server, uh, which is a required argument. And uh, what is this actually? Well, this is the Kafka server that our client would want to connect to. Now, since you all know that Kafka runs uh, in a cluster, so this bootstrap server would be the, the first Kafka broker or the first uh, computer uh, running Kafka to which our client is going to try to connect. So here we need to specify the address of this bootstrap server. Then there are a couple of other options like minus minus alter used to alter the number of partitions, uh, etc. cetera, uh, minus minus create, minus minus delete. Um, of course, the names uh, do tell us what these commands do or what these options do, sorry, minus minus partitions, which specifies the number of partitions that we want in this topic. Uh, if you don't specify um, anything, uh, it defaults to the cluster default, which is specified um, in, in the config file with, with which we started the Kafka cluster. Uh, uh, here we specify the topic name with the option minus minus topic uh, and so on. So let's actually go about creating uh, a few topics. So what do we have to do to uh, actually create a Kafka topic within a Kafka cluster? We simply have to use this very basic command, uh, which is Kafka topics.sh. We specify the bootstrap server. I just told you what the bootstrap server is. In our case, the address of the bootstrap server is localhost and the port number is 9092. Then we, we specify the name of the Kafka topic. In this case, the name I want is Kafka hyphen topic hyphen one. And what do we want to do here? We want to create this topic. So when I hit enter, we see that Kafka topic is created. If we go to the logs, I should be able to see here log. Uh, okay, here we have it creating topic Kafka topic one with so and so configuration and um, you know, various other things. Uh, all right, let's return to the terminal where we just created the Kafka topic. And the next thing we'd like to do is list all of our Kafka topics. Uh, 
And right now we can see that we have created only one topic whose name is Kafka hyphen topic hyphen one. Uh, let's try to describe this topic next. So the topic name is um, Kafka topic one. What happens when I try to describe it? Uh, okay, we can see the name of the topic. We can see how many partitions does this topic have. In this case, it is one. What is the replication factor? Uh, again, one. Um, some configs. Um, for now, you may just ignore the second line of the output. This I would explain to you when we create a topic with with a larger number of partitions, which we are in fact going to do just now. So uh, let me create a topic after topic two. Um, instead of describe, I would like to say create. And here I would specify a number of partitions. And I want this topic to be created with three partitions. I hit enter. And uh, we can see that Kafka topic two has been created. If we list out the topics now, where well, we see two topics, Kafka topic one, Kafka topic two. Um, and what happens if I try to describe the topics uh, now? Uh, instead of topic one, um, in fact, I'd, I'd like to describe all of the Kafka topics. I hit enter. Okay, so here we see the description of topic um, number one, Kafka topic one that is. And here we see the description of Kafka topic two. So Kafka topic two has uh, three partitions. It has a replication factor of one and it has certain configs. Uh, now, uh, these are the descriptions of each partition of Kafka topic two. And this is the description of each partition of Kafka topic one. So this is partition zero, this is partition one, this is partition two of Kafka topic two. So here we also have some other details. So uh, what is specified by leader? Now leader is a node which is responsible for all the reads or writes from this particular partition of this Kafka topic. So um, leaders are numbered uh, from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So uh, since uh, in our toy example of Kafka here, we have only one node. So the leader in all of these cases is 0 but you might have uh, some actual uh, scenarios where a uh, leader uh, for all of these uh, partitions is not zero, but some other node. Uh, similarly, replicas. So we have a replication factor of one. So uh, replicas specifies all of the node numbers where the replicas of partition zero of Kafka topic two are stored, which uh, in this case is again, node zero, for all of the three partitions, because again, we have only a, a single node Kafka cluster and ISR represents all of the in sync replicas, which are always in sync with the leader uh, for this partition for this Kafka topic. Uh, so uh, basically one more time, in sync replicas are those replicas, which are always in sync with the leader for this particular partition for this Kafka topic. In this case, the in sync replica is, um, again, it doesn't make sense in a, a, a single node Kafka cluster, but just for uh, your knowledge sake, the in sync replica again is uh, located on node number zero. Now, hope that was clear to you. Um, I'll show you one more example from the Kafka documentation. I'll link it in the description below also. Uh, so here we can see that um, this is a certain topic called uh, my replicated topic, the number of partitions is one, but the replication factor is three. Uh, so here we can see that the leader is node number one, the replicas are stored on node number one, two and zero. And again, one, two and zero are in sync replicas. And if you want to read more about all of this, um, they have given some text here and you can definitely check out this page in the documentation. Uh, all right, so the last thing we'd want to do here is perform a very quick cleanup and delete our Kafka topics. So uh, instead of hyphen hyphen create, I would simply say hyphen hyphen delete. Uh, post this, I would like to list the Kafka topics and I can see that the only topic I have available is Kafka topic two, um, which again is going to be deleted right now. Again, if I list the Kafka topics, 
I see that there are no topics available. Uh, meanwhile, you can always um, check the logs in Kafka. You can see uh, what's going on. Uh, Kafka is logging everything for you. And it, even if you get some errors, uh, they will be logged out right here. Uh, instead of info, it would say error. So uh, that's all for this video, guys. Um, we learned how to use the Kafka topics.sh script to create, describe, uh, as well as list and delete our Kafka topics. Now, uh, I'd like to remind you there were a wide range of options that you could use with the script. So I'd like really recommend you to go uh, um, to go and give them a read as well. So if you found the content of the video helpful, please do hit the like button. If you find the content of my channel helpful, please click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you very soon in a brand new tutorial.